All right, moving into magnetic field. We are going through the very basic equations we have in magnetic fields. If you take magnetic fields, there are three main parts. Magnetic field generated by current and force in magnetic field and electromagnetic induction. Right, let's move into magnetic flux phi measured in Weber's flux density, flux divided by area we measured using Tesla, right. Magnetic field by current, we have first equation Biosavart formula B equals mu naught Ni delta L sine theta over 4 pi r squared. N is number of wires, I is the current, delta L small length, sine theta is the angle. Magnetic field intensity R distance from infinitely long wire, the wire is infinitely long and the magnetic field intensity at this point we take mu naught n i over 2 pi r and we have the second equation, right. Moving into the third equation, magnetic field from finitely long wire, here magnetic flux density here B equals mu naught n i sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2 divided by this distance 4 pi r. So here i is the current, theta 1, theta 2 is this angle and r is the distance from the, from the wire. And moving into the fourth, magnetic field intensity at the center of a loop, it's a circular loop. So here b equals mu naught n i over 2 r, r is the radius n is the number of wires in the loop, as in number of turns. Moving into fifth equation, here we have magnetic field intensity along a solenoid so here B along the solenoid magnetic flux density D equals mu naught N I. So here N number of turns in the solenoid. Moving into the second part, force in magnetic field. Here force applied on a charge moving with a velocity V along in this direction. So force applied on the charge by the magnetic field F equals B Q V sin theta, V is the velocity and sin theta is the angle here is theta. Moving into other equation, so this is the sixth equation we have for now, right. Moving into the other equation, force on a current carrying conductor. So this is the conductor and current I passes through it, length of the current, length of the wire is L. So force is D I L sin theta, I is the current, L is the length of the wire. Then this is uh, the seventh equation we have and moving into eighth equation, yes, torque on a loop. So here magnetic field apply a torque on a loop so that torque tau equals b i n a sin theta here i is the current n is the number of wires inside this loop number of turns so sin theta is the angle moving into the third part electromagnetic induction electromagnetic apart from this equation we have one very basic equation E equals minus delta phi over delta T. This is the base equation, electromagnetic induction E equals minus delta phi over delta T. Rate of change in magnetic flux is equal to induced EMF. These are the derived equation. Now moving into a rod moving with a velocity of V inside the magnetic field, so the induced EMF, E equals to BLV sin theta, here we are getting our ninth equation. Then electromagnetic induction inside a loop of wire, here E equals BNA omega sin omega T omega is the angular velocity or if we consider the linear velocity we have another equation here. So BNA omega sin omega t if we consider the angular velocity BLV 2 BLV sin theta 
ਕੀ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ 